I got my second speed light for flash photography. Let's check it out. Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Ernest Pacheco and I am a beginner photographer slash content creator. I keep saying that because I am still a beginner. I'm still a beginner. I haven't really learned how to do anything crazy yet. I'm still learning how to edit. I'm still learning what to use, what software to use, what hardware to use. Still kind of trying to figure out what, what, what it is I'm doing, right? But I, I love it. It's fun. I'm enjoying it while I'm doing it. I'm having fun. I'm putting this stuff out for you guys. So, hey, that works for me, right? So, in this video, I want, I'm, I'm excited in this video. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. So, I started this video a couple years back. I had got away from putting stuff for a while. So, I just recently started really following a lot of people on YouTube and kind of getting a lot of inspiration from it. And it made me decide hey I wanted to do it too you know I wanted to really try that out it was gonna be fun to put my ideas out there and kind of use my my creativeness to, to put stuff out there and it's paid off already you know just two three short months I actually got my first ever package sent to me this is actually an unboxing video this right here was sent to me by my friends at Rolino here it's a it's the f550 flashlight now this has only been on Amazon since I want to say October 24th 2018 is when it was released just by looking at it I haven't opened yet I haven't tried it yet but for the price you know looking at it for $59.99 it looks like it's gonna be pretty cool so let's open it up let's see what it got so here we have oh look little carrying pouch that's pretty neat really no if you haven't seen in the other videos I've done in the past, I can put it in the description box below and also on the top. I actually did an unboxing of the Relino Studio Light Kits here a while back. What those are is a budget-friendly softbox kit that you can pick up off Amazon for pretty cheap. And I unboxed them and set them up in my office. It kind of shows the difference in what it looked like before to the exposure after. Uh, it's night and day. I mean, it's a big difference. In it. And I really like that kit for its price. It's really easy. I mean, it's, it's not the most durable looking it doesn't feel very durable it's kind of cheap feeling but it does its job i mean it has a great little setup you throw in a little little carrying case that comes with it zip it up and take it with you on the go so it's pretty cool again i'll leave that link up there in the description box below but getting back to this here we have a little hot shoe stand here we have some paperwork instructions probably check those out later if i even look at them at all here we have the speed lights I'm gonna have to get some batteries for this. Obviously, it don't come with batteries, and I believe these are, it's gonna take, yep, four AA batteries, just like my other one. I also picked up here recently the Young Nuo 560 Mark IV. I haven't seen a lot of good reviews on that one and stuff, so this is my second speed light. It looks pretty cool. I mean, it looks just like any other speed light. It has a swivel on it. Thing goes, wow, 360, it looks all the way cool. That's pretty cool. Again, this is the uh, Relino F550. Here's a typical carrying case. It has another little zipper here on bottom. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is a diffuser. Oh, that's pretty neat. It has a diffuser on the bottom tucked underneath there and it zips up. That's pretty neat. Pretty cool little carrying case. Looks just like the other one. It looks pretty similar to every other speed light. I'm pretty sure that it's gonna do its job. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't, honestly. But going into some of the specs, it's a, the Relino F550, which is, this is a TTL flash. That means through the lens. Again, I'm not a, a professional photographer. I'm still learning this myself. But the young new I have is a manual flash. Now this flash can be used both in manual and in auto mode. This is actually has the auto mode, which is TTL through the lens. What that basically means that through the little electrical contacts, it actually throws a, a single flash before the picture is taken, which automatically gives the camera the chance to figure out what exposure it needs to be. And then when it shoots, then it automatically selects the proper light intensity for the proper exposure on the picture, which is pretty cool. I've never used one of these, so I'm pretty interested to see uh, how that works. It says it's uh, TTL, which is ETTL and ITTL. I think ETTL is the Canon uh, lingo and then the ITTL is Nikon lingo. So it works for, for both, which is pretty cool. It has auto and manual mode, like I said. In manual mode, this thing has 22 stops of light, basically one over 128 all the way to one over one. One over one being the most uh, full power, I believe. That's like full power, that's gonna be the brightest. Uh, it also has a master slave function, which uh, I believe slave function means that it actually has the ability to, to power on a bunch of flashes at one time. But again, I'm gonna dive a little bit more into that as I do a little bit more playing around with it, seeing how it works. It says on the specs on Amazon, I think it says you can take up to 230 flashes at full power, which is pretty good. I mean, at full power doing 230 flashes, I mean, it, you know, you might be able to get one whole wedding out of it um, on, on one, one set of batteries. The recycling time is uh, anywhere from 0.1 second to 
2.9 seconds, you know, on regular power. And if you go to full power on this, I mean, full intensity, you're looking at about six to eight seconds of recycling. And I believe recycling just means how long it takes to be ready to flash again. You know, kind of generated its power back up and stuff like that. This thing has a 5600 Kelvin light temperature, which is daylight on the lower end of daylight, but it's 5600 plus or minus 200 Kelvin. I haven't put this on yet. I haven't tried it yet. I'm just going through the specs right now. And I don't want to make this like a tech reading right off the spec sheet, uh, which I am reading off my, my notes here, but it's not gonna be just, I'm, I'm gonna actually have some real life examples of this right now. I'm just kind of going over this so if we can get on the same page of what this is and what it offers. So if this is for you, you might be interested in hearing about this and maybe you don't, maybe you can skip ahead to, to the portion of it or whatever. This thing's only about 375 grams, so it's pretty light. I mean, there's no batteries in here yet, but it's pretty light, which is about 13.2 ounces. You know, that's how I know it's ounces. Grams is something I've ever really messed with until now. But thanks to Google and Siri for helping me uh, trans, uh, translate everything from one to the other. So it's about 13.2 ounces. This comes with a 12 month warranty from Amazon. That's pretty much it in here. You know, uh, I don't see anything else. I don't think you need anything else. This has everything you need. So right now you're gonna have to basically wait for me to go take pictures with this and then come back and show you later. But that's kind of the whole setup. Uh, it comes with the case. I think this will work great. I think this will tuck right in perfectly to the camera bag. We're gonna take it out. So uh, let's go compare some of these pictures. I charged the batteries, my AA batteries, so I can put it in here, uh, get it turned on. So looking at this thing, like I said, I unboxed it and I was pretty surprised. I'm, I really like this little extra pouch right here on the bottom with the diffuser, I think that's really cool. The only difference really from my other speed light is that it's the through the lens uh, system, TTL. But I'm gonna see how it works, the functions behind it. So let me turn it on. I do know this thing I think has a zoom, uh, has a zoom range from 18 to 180. So I'm gonna put this at about 85 millimeters, light up LCD screen, which is pretty cool. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the power down to the lowest setting and I'm gonna take a quick with my hand right here. This is at one over 128. Okay. See, that's at the lowest power, okay? So now let's bring that down to one over 32. Do the same test. It's ready to flat to fire off. Blue light means it's ready to fire off. So I'm gonna sit here again, same thing, put my hand up. One over 32 power. Okay, there we go. One over 32. Now, as you boost this up, obviously there is a delay. Now I'm at one over one, which is full power. And there, you see that, that is bright. I mean, that I can see it over there. Uh, it actually beats also. It gives you an alert when it's ready to go. So let's try again, one over one. Yeah, that's bright. Um, like I said, for the price, I mean, so far I'm, I'm really impressed with it. You know, just basically straight out of the box, straight out of the package. I'm impressed because it's a good, cheap option. And so far, just by doing this manual test, it functions exactly as you want it to. This is something that as a beginner or amateur or whatever, you. Get pick this up, you put this in your camera bag and you're in a wedding or you know your kids have a you know a school dance or you know prom or anything where you might have a little bit of low light you know restrictions put this bad boy on and face it up to you know not have so much full exposure you can face it directly if you're a little bit further away uh, you can turn it sideways if you want to reflect light off the wall or if you want to reflect light off the other wall or you want to reflect light back you know they have a swivel which is really neat so far it meets all the specs that it says it offers um, again it's just like a typical speed light and again for someone like myself who is new to photography someone who's learning this things like this are, are awesome because they're cheap and they're easy to use i mean literally in seconds i had the batteries in and in seconds i'm already checking you know the intensity of the light and i'm seeing you know what's best and it's so awesome that it comes with the diffuser i think the other one i bought it didn't come with the diffuser so i would have to you know buy another nine or ten dollars you know going to order something like this so this coming in here, being added to the package is great. So again, straight up the box is something that as a beginner, it's pretty, you know, the ease of use is there, but let's put it on the camera and let's go try it out. All right, so I've been messing around with this now for a couple of days now, getting used to it and everything. And I'm gonna say for the price, I don't think you can find a native TTL flash for under a hundred bucks. I don't even think you can find them under 200 bucks, honestly. So for the price point, just been using it a couple of days for $59. This thing is awesome. So far it's worked great. It does everything it says it does. The biggest thing I think that for a beginner like myself, when I say that, I do mean that I'm a beginner photographer. I'm still learning. I'm just a normal person who just picked up a camera and is trying to figure out how to be a, how to take better portraits and landscape and you know house pictures and stuff like that. This thing is, is great because you slap it on, you put in the batteries and it adjusts to your camera settings. So I've noticed in, in manual mode, you set your camera settings, your shutter speed, your aperture, your ISO, 
once you set your flash, you set, you take your picture at one over 128. You look at it, okay, it needs more flash. So you dial it down one over 132nd. Take a picture, it needs more, then you go down to one over one and you take a picture. So it, it, trial and error, you, it takes a couple of times to get exactly where you want it. In the TTL mode, I literally just turn it on. I set my camera settings. If I want a low aperture, if I want more light and a better depth of field, then I'll just dial it in and I take a picture and the, the flash will automatically adjust to the best or light intensity that it feels is, is right for the camera settings, which is great. I mean, if you just set it on there, turn it on and you can start taking pictures. Now, I have noticed that if you are, if you do find yourself that you bounce it off a wall or you bounce it up or, or down, sometimes your picture may be a little underexposed. You know, I didn't have to take two or three shots to be see exactly what I needed. All I did was just drop my f-stop. You know, I went down from a 16 to 11 and boom, problem solved. So again, it's just, it's easy, it's convenient. This is definitely gonna live in my camera bag. It's something that I really feel I'm gonna use this piece of equipment to help me learn more about photography and help me get better in this craft. Again, it's, you can't go wrong with this. If you bought this, you can't go wrong. If you're a Nikon or a Canon shooter, you can't go wrong. So let's take a few pictures real quick. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna start off in manual mode. So manual mode, and I'm gonna turn my camera on, put the live view on. So right now I'm at ISO 200, my f stops at 16 and I'm at 125th of a second. Obviously, when I go to take this at 1 over 1, okay, it's a little overexposed. So now I'm gonna go to 1 over 32, same picture. Now it's underexposed, so now I gotta go back down to 1 over 16. Still underexposed, 1 over 8. So one over eight is usable, okay? So, but you see, you see there how I had to go basically between one over one all the way to one over 30 seconds, one over 32 to find out exactly where I needed to be. That's kind of the downfall of using a manual mode. Now again, I like manual mode myself. It's, it's easy also, but it's just, it seems more convenient in TTL mode. So now I'm gonna switch it over to TTL mode. You know, I'm actually gonna change the camera settings so you can see. I'm gonna switch my f-stop to 22, and I, uh, my shutter speed, I may go one two hundred in a second. So now, in TTL mode, I just find my subject, and I take the picture, automatically it adjusts, and boom, I'm already right where, around where I need to be. You know, I can use that, very usable. So now I can zoom in. One of the things I like is that in live view mode, when you hit the shutter, it actually, pulls up the brightness on your on your screen you can actually see you know it's not all dark <clears throat> yeah see that's usable so now <clears throat> that's the water bottle let's try a different subject now I got this little uh, decoration dining room table decoration we're gonna do the same thing uh, I'm gonna start off with an auto mode on this one so I'm gonna come in here same settings as the water bottle and I'm gonna take the picture. Very usable, very usable. I'm gonna point my light in a different direction so I don't have such a harsh reflection, which I'm still gonna have harsh reflection up there because of the light behind the camera, but, and I'm gonna take the picture. This is what I'm talking about. So right there, it's actually a little underexposed. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna drop my f-stop to a 16. Because I shifted the light away from the subject, now I have to adjust my camera setting. But, it's easy, or I dropped it from 22 to F16. So take the same picture. That's a lot more usable. So again, that's just how simple and easy it is to, to, to use it. Uh, let me go ahead and drop it one more time. We'll go all the way down to 11, which is letting a lot more light in. Let me try that. There you go. So that's working great. So now let me switch it to manual mode, and I'm gonna start here at one over, and my F set, my F stops at F11, let me bring that back all the way down to F22. One over eight power, let's see how that goes. This is just in manual mode when you're just trying to, one over eight is way underexposed. Like that is completely unusable. Let me go to one over two. One over two is still underexposed, so one over one. Again, this is with the light pointing a different direction from the subject. So one over one is close, but it's still not usable. So then there, obviously I know that I'm still gonna have to adjust my settings. I'm gonna have to bring that down to F16. Now let's try. 
Now we got, so I had to drop down to F16 to get exactly what I needed. But there you go, that's showing you exactly how convenient, how easy it is to use this flash. For someone who's starting off, I cannot express enough how much I would recommend this. It's not the greatest flash. Again, it's not a native Canon flash. It's not a native, a native Nikon flash. You're not getting all the bells and whistles, but what you are getting is a very easy flash to learn with and a very easy flash to use and operate. I feel very comfortable saying that I'm gonna use this flash in the future and I'm gonna use it for all my photography, actually. I, I like it, I enjoy it, using it, really easy to work with. So for my first TTL flash, it's a very great piece of equipment. Again, if you're a beginner, if you wanna try out some flash photography, I highly recommend the cheaper flashes. Not, I'm not saying that you should always get cheaper, but if you're starting out, there's no sense in buying all kinds of ex expensive equipment because you might see that you don't like flash photography. You might strive away from it. So the cheaper the flashes are to me, it, the better they are for the pocket. And it helps you see now, if you get into it on a more serious level, yeah, go out and buy the best one out there. Starting off, definitely recommend something like this. There's pretty much not more I can say about it. It's a camera flash and it does what it says for a really good price. So, so if you're new to my channel, again, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. And if you'd like to backtrack and go and catch up on everything I've posted, go back and do that. Anything you like, any comments you have, post them on the videos and I'll interact with y'all as much as possible. Thanks for being a part of my community and thanks for tuning in. See you next time, guys. Later.